Hello, hello, beautiful people. That was Keep Your Head Up by Tupac. You're listening to XLR Lander University Radio. It's your girl, Lauren Deschanel, and your favorite rock and radio host, Scotty Rocket, bringing you Tupac tonight and every Tuesday night. <laughs> yes, indeed. Thank you so much for doing that again. Um, so first and foremost, uh, I would like to, one, thank Lauren for redoing that. If you're listening live, you know what just happened. If you're listening to when I upload this to YouTube later, we had a little a little boo-boo where <laughs> I forgot to record and that was completely rehearsed. So It's okay. Yeah. But anyway, hello. Welcome back. It's so good to be with you guys again. I just gave that spiel to the people who are listening live, but to our listeners on YouTube, we missed you. Welcome back to class. Welcome back to class. It's a new semester, which means it is a brand new season. Season two. Tupac is in for our... Second I, I wanted to say second, but it didn't say two. It's okay. It is okay. We gonna be all right. That's not a transition, but... It, that would be a great transition, <laughs> I though. know. But that's not even how the transition's gonna go. Spoilers. Spoilers, Spoilers. for songs that we're gonna play. <laughs> but, uh, Yeah. So we're back. It's the launch for our second season, and today is kind of like a like a bridge episode because we have something surprising coming up for you guys later. But we'll talk more about that later. We absolutely will. <laughs> we're very excited. We are so excited. But yeah, so we're gonna kind of review. Maybe you are listening for the first time, like you're a new student or you're a new friend of ours, and we were like, "Oh, listen to our show," because we do that to everybody. There's a picture of Garrett sleeping on the couch over here. What That's else? cute. Uh, so we're going to, like, reintroduce ourselves, reintroduce the show, and uh, just give you guys all that fun stuff. So, who are we? Who are we? Who is she? <laughs> who is she? That's a stupid little inside joke from our apartment dorm thing. We have so many. We have so many. Maybe too many. Yeah, a whole <laughs> board full. A whole board full. <laughs> Shout out to Caitlin. Shout out to Caitlin. Caitlin, if you're listening right now, kisses. We love you. We love you. We will be doing roll call later, so for all of our loyal students, be sure to let us know on the Radio FX app, with the little chat bubble that you are listening, because we need validation. We do. Yes. And feel free to message us as well, because yes. we do. We love that. Yes, we really do. It uh, helps hype us up, and then we can hype you up. Exactly. Exactly. Good education system. Education. But yeah, who are we? Who is she? And why we started the show. So, I'm going to go first. Hi, mm-hmm. I am Megan, or better known as, I wouldn't say better known as, but over the air, I am known as Scotty Rocket. Um, my middle name is Scott, so it does make sense, I promise. Um, I am a junior mass communications major here, and I am also our social media director for XLR Landy University Radio, as well as now social media content producer or whatever for Lander LUX, which we'll plug more <laughs> when it's a little more put together. We'll figure that out. Uh, I am half Filipino and therefore a POC. <laughs> 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 um, and uh, yeah, that, that's, that's who I am and what I'm doing here. Lauren, introduce yourself. I'm Lauren. I am a senior now. Uh. I am a senior mass communications major with a minor in PR and a minor in media writing. I am also a POC. I'm black <laughs> and partially white. But, you know, that's that's another episode. Mm-hmm. That's actually episode one, season one. Season one. Um, what else? I am a video content producer for Lander LUX, and I am XLR's production director as well as the creative content director, mm-hmm. which is kind of like the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Look at you doing things. So proud. Many hats. Yeah. <laughs> Many hats. We got a lot of new shiny hats this semester. So we that's really cool. We really did. We did. We got a whole stack of hats. I don't know. A whole <laughs> hat rack. <laughs> whole hat rack. Yes. Not a coat rack. <laughs> <laughs> that, that fell. Yes. It's okay. Yeah. So why did is. we start the show? We started the show for a number of of reasons first and foremost we're talking so it's only obvious that we wanted to open conversation i love that right 
Yeah. Like how I worded it or just conversation? Both. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Wizard. Um, but, yeah, we wanted to open conversation on our campus as well as to whoever might be listening out there in the world. Uh, XLR is broadcasted on campus and around the globe. This is XLR, Landa University Radio. I love that for you. <laughs> I, I keep thinking about that. Sometimes that little phrase gets stuck in my head. On campus and around the globe? Yes. I always want to put that on a shirt. We should really have that on the We XLR need shirts. shirts. <laughs> we should really have that. It's my favorite. I tried to make a logo. I'm not good at logo making, but... You're pretty good at it. You made our logo. Thanks. You're welcome. We made our logo. You made our logo. You made it valid. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> you were like, oh, I like it. And I was like, oh, okay, it's good. Anyway, continuing on. So, um, we... I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> I, I had I had a sentence in mind, but it didn't start out right. We're, we're talking about <laughs> why we started the show. <laughs> so, for anyone who doesn't know, Tupac is spelled number two P-O-C. Mm-hmm. What does POC stand for? People of color. And what we, about we? Two people of color. Yes. And because we play Tupac. I know. We're cute. <laughs> it's okay. Shh. We know. Quiet we hear guys. it all the time. All the time. I guess you we guys, it. we know we're so cute. I know. <laughs> Gosh, we're so cute. But uh, moving on, we also started the show to kind of learn from each other's experiences. While we are Tupac, we are two different Pac. And therefore, <laughs> I need to stop saying Pac. <laughs> you made so many Pac jokes yesterday. I did. No, that was today, Lauren. That was yesterday when we were in our interview for that thing we're going to talk about later. Me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I did make a lot earlier. Yes, you did. Like, they were all food related. <laughs> they were. We were hungry. But, um, yeah, we wanted to learn from each other's experience because while there are a lot of things that we have in common there are so many things that we're different in and we can learn so much more from each other's culture each other's struggles each other's just identity in general and i think learning from each other makes the world a better place and that's really cool that's a beautiful wording i feel like i've learned so much from you since our first I've season so much from you Really? This is a really good class. It's a really, really good class. They should give credit hours for, for Tupac. They really should. We should get graded. We get an A. We what? No, we we're, we're the professors. A's, but we're also the students. Yeah, so just give us credits. I'm giving you credit right now. I'm giving you credit. You're gold the best. star. Gold star. Yeah. <laughs> Two gold stars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but what's, what's another reason why we started the show? We were really inspired by the show Dear White People on Netflix. Yes. Uh, and if you're not familiar with that show, there is a POC. She is a black girl named Sam on a college campus, and she has her own radio show where she talks about black struggle. And we, I think it was a car conversation in the car one day where we were like, yeah, we could totally do that. I want to say that it started when I guest starred on Love Affair with Life, which mm -hmm. is Scotty Rocket's show on Thursdays. That will be bi-weekly this week, or month, semester. Semester. Ooh. Ooh, that's why. <laughs> that is exactly why. <laughs> but we were talking about it. I was ready to start a radio show, but I wasn't quite sure what it was going to be about. And she brought up doing Tupac. And I want to say that was after we had our conversation until 7 a.m. where we tried to watch Dear White People, but we got so sidetracked. I know. We lost our voices that morning. Yes, we did. We thought we had the Rona, and then <laughs> we, we realized we like, because oh. we were up all night. Yeah, talking. Yeah. That was after – that. was that the same night, right after Love Affair with Life? Because it was a Thursday. I think so, yeah. Our, None of our, our other roommates didn't come home that night. Yeah. 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 And we ate a lot of nuggets. Yes, <laughs> We We're not going to talk about that night. So many nuggets. Unlimited too, amount of... Too many nuggets. Way too many nuggets. Um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so that's kind of like the birth of Tupac. Not... Anyway. <laughs> but from that, we're going to go ahead and jump into a music break. Because we do want to give you guys the jams. This is... A radio station and radio stations play music. We're ready to jam out. Absolutely, lutely. But don't worry. Don't don't rush to get to bed. I know it's kind of late, but we're gonna be right back.
Radio. You're listening to Tupac with your girls, Lauren Deschanel and Scotty Rocket. Welcome back to class. Welcome back. Should we do a roll call? Should we? Do you have anyone to roll call? Yes, you do too, because oh. we're in a group chat. <gasps> Amazing. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. You know what time it is. Roll, roll call. call. Roll call. Roll call. Roll call. <laughs> <laughs> we, we listened to a bunch of our old episodes and noticed that that was a recurring noise. We have a lot of noise. Uh, we have a lot of, what is it, lore? Lore? Yeah, Tupac lore. Tupac lore. I don't know if that counts as lore, but Just like it little, would be fan artable. Yes. Please make us fan art with our quotes. Yeah. If oh. not, I will, and then post them to a fake account so that it seems as though it's fan art. So we can just make merch. Yeah. I really want a sticker <laughs> of you at the board, like you are right now, headphones and everything. It's got roll call, but like in different fonts. Roll call, roll call, roll call. Yes. Roll call. Yes. I think that's the lowest one I can do. I mean, you can't draw that unless you like put it on sheet music. I think I actually got that from a radio station back home. We should probably do the roll call now. Yes, we should. We okay. absolutely Shout out to my dad. Yes. I know you're listening. I don't know if my grandma's listening, but if you are, shout out to you because I know you always listen. Shout out to Amy, Amy from whole Scotland. Scotland. We love you, Amy. Shout out to Thomas. Yes. Thomas is one of our DJs earlier today, actually. I listened to them uh, on Smiling Rainbow Unicorn of Doom. Srud. We always call them Srud, but apparently they don't call themselves Srud. They really don't. I really thought should. they did. Yeah, y'all should really do that. Change it change it now but yeah you can listen to smiling rainbow unicorn of doom aka to us srud tuesdays at 1 p.m yeah they're our bros they are our bros and they make great soup they really do and they have really funny content yes today's episode is sponsored by smiling Run. rainbow unicorn of doom smiling rainbow unicorn of doom is a multi-host podcast slash radio show on XLR, Land University Radio, where we don't have sponsors. They do sponsor us in food. Yeah. And pizza. <laughs> that was a joke because today they talked about sponsors a lot and I was cackling. I was in class. That's lame. It really is. Getting an education. Getting an education. <laughs> no. Um, shout out to Bianca. Bianca. I love seeing you every single Tuesday and Thursday morning. I get to see her in class, and it's so sweet. And don't you worry, sweetheart. We are going to figure out how these projects work. And we are going to make your banana bread for your video. Yes. Not, like, for your video. We're going to help you make banana bread. Because otherwise... That's we would cheating. Be in- exactly. And we are here not only to help you succeed in your education, but succeed in life because everyone should know how to make banana bread unless you are allergic to bananas. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> I was waiting for that. No, I almost said it, but then you started speaking, and I was like, oh, whew, whew, I almost did it. Thomas said, girl, I ain't paying you. You always buy the pizza, though. We all pitched in. You didn't pitch in. I pitched oh. in for you last time. Can I have it back? Uh, what? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, what? <laughs> what do you mean? Can you have it back? What? Anyway, <laughs> this, is a, this is a conversation for another time. Is there anyone else you want to roll call? Not that I can see, but if you have not heard your name, please send me a text or um, show up on the app. Yeah. I can't see the app right now. I, I can see the app. It. So if you can see, text Lauren, app, and I'll shout you out, or text me. I guess I'll see you also. Anyway, on with the show. <laughs> so uh, we kind of wanted to talk about things that we talked about last semester, just kind of like an overview if, again, if you're new to the show or haven't listened before, we wanted to sprinkle a little a little ketchup, you know? Yeah. Ketchup. ketchup. Squeeze a little ketchup on your Tuesday night. I couldn't remember what days of the week were. Tuesday. Tuesday. It's been the longest Tuesday. It really has. We got that money. Not a lot, yeah. but money. Yeah. Shout out. To Today's episode is sponsored by... L-U-X. Anyway. Yeah. So. So last semester we talked about representation. Yes. We, we had did. two parts. And we're thinking of having more. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We had two episodes of representation and then would sprinkle it into so many other episodes. Because representation. What's matters. 
It is. That was a really weird way to phrase that question, so I'm sorry. I left you. No, you're good. I was like, um, (laughs) what did she say to me? (laughs) What did she say? What what did she say? Anyway. (laughs) We also talked about mental health, which I do want to touch on again because it's so, so important. Yes. We did that episode in honor of our friend, Jackson, Mm -hmm. and I just want to continue to honor him. Honestly. We have a beautiful frame up in our station now dedicated to Jackson. It has his pride flag as well as a photo of him and uh, we love you and we miss you so much and thanks to you we have so many more conversations about mental health and the importance of taking breaks and talking about how you feel. Yeah. So everybody out there, please reach out if ain't nobody else care. Tupac cares. Tupac cares. Sorry, I was getting all... sad. I, I was getting sad. We, we, we are always here to listen to you guys. Okay? It's not just Tupac. It's us, Pac. Oh, my gosh. Not this again. I'm trying to keep a smile, but moving <laughs> on. We also talked about microaggressions. Yes. And we kind of want to have another episode on that later on this semester, if not this semester, soon-ish, you know. Um, Because we were like, oh, man, here's all of these other things that apply to that. And we'll touch a little more on that. One of our coolest episodes was actually our first interview. Yes. It was for Filipino American History in the month of October. Because that's Filipino American History Month. And we talked with Professor MSB. MSB? I wonder if she's listening. I don't know. But I would love if she was. Me too. Even if she's not, roll call shout out to you. She sent me a really cool video the other day. You you showed me that. Yeah. I, yeah. Did you show me? No, you told me about I it. I told you about it. Um, and I shared it on my Facebook page. I'm going to share it on the Tupac Facebook page when I get around. I tagged Tupac Facebook page. Mm-hmm. So I should share it. Yep. She was yeah. just so cool. Yeah. She was really helpful, and we got a great episode out of it. So sweet. So sweet. Uh, I would love to interview her again. Yes. When we talk about hair. Hair. We can have so many guests for a hair episode. Yes, absolutely. Um, and then another episode that we talked about before we left, we had like our, you know, like recap and episode. So our last like content-ish episode was uh, POC and history. And we talked about uh, specifically Kamala Harris. Hakuna Kamala. <laughs> Yeah, and we talked about how she made history. Um, that episode was right after the election. Yes, yes, it was literally right after. Right after, and here we are now with um, Madam Vice President herself in yeah, office. She's not just elect anymore; she's just Madam Vice President. Vice President. It's so it's so cool. I'm it still, is like, really cool. Transitioning into like getting to like sit up straight when I when I say Vice President here instead of. <laughs> Vice but President no elect. That's, you know, my, yeah. my words get a little twisty sometimes. And I don't like t- saying all those words. It, it is a lot of words. <laughs> That's longer than my name. Yeah. Maybe. That's longer I than should. Yaya. <laughs> That's longer than Yaya. I don't know. Yaya is pretty long. <laughs> For anyone who doesn't know, Yaya is my puppy. She is 11 months old <laughs> and she is a corgi. So she's very long. And we just keep referencing her in like size, age, because she's very young and very long. Mm-hmm. So we'll be like, oh, that thing is older than Yaya. The list of comparisons to Yaya is longer than Yaya. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a stretch, but not as stretched out as Yaya. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> not you making fun of my dog on air. On air. She's got the biggest ears. You know she can hear it. Her, her ears are bigger than Yaya. <laughs> her ears are bigger than Yaya. She's probably listening right now. She hears everything. She hears everything. We really should get back to this show because it's not about Yaya. <laughs> Yaya is not a puck. Roll call to Yaya. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Yaya. Shout I know you can Yaya. hear me from here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, uh, so yeah. So, we talked about all of those things last semester. And it was a great time, a great ride. And I'm really proud of us, honestly. We covered a lot of ground. We really did. We really did. And for, I don't, you know, like on screen, that doesn't look like many episodes. But we run a two-hour show. So we we talked a lot. And if you want to listen to any of those, you can check us out on YouTube, which is really cool. I think we're 
two what are we on youtube yeah two poc xlr yes yes two poc xlr check us out you can also find it on like everything is connected so if you go on our instagram page which is at which is at two poc xlr you will find our website mm-hmm. and then that leads to our youtube and it all kind of circles back yeah it's it's for the user experience that's a term we learned in class. Yeah, because that's our major. <laughs> Speaking of class, we talked about, well, we were just talking about history, and we were talking about Kamala Harris, and I kind of wanted to backtrack, mm-hmm. because I'm still reeling from all of the inauguration photos. Yeah. Like, they were just beautiful. I know. Like Michelle Obama. Oh, my gosh. Everybody. Beautiful. Dressed and out. The monochrome. We should really recreate those photos. I look really bad. <laughs> In what? Like, if I wear the same color on top of each other, if it is not black, then I look odd. You can do a monochrome in black. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. still monochrome. Nice. This is all one color. Nice. <laughs> Any other color I look really weird in. Speaking of the color black, Black History Month is next month. Dun, dun, dun. And we have some exciting news for you. So make sure you stick around. me I w- okay here's what happened i woke up to a strange <laughs> noise uh-huh. and i was like i don't know what that is but try not to think about it I'm trying to calm myself down Aww. and then the thunder started and i was like well i can't hear it anymore i thought it was i went our- to sleep <laughs> i thought it was our neighbors <laughs> playing basketball upstairs again <laughs> that was the funniest thing ever <laughs> i was like man it is the middle of the night i went to bed late why are they away oh 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 it's a storm 
I see. Our neighbors were playing basketball, but they I were. wasn't there. <laughs> it was a funny story. I was getting my hair braided. Mm -hmm. Speaking of, that is one of the things we're going to be talking about this semester. And that's what this entire session of what we're going to be talking about is about. What we're going to be talking about this semester. That was a whole lot of... A whole lot of words. A whole lot of words to get to one point. Before we get into it, do we have any more roll calls? No. Nice. Nice. Wizard. Anyway, what we're going to be talking about this semester. Lauren, go off. Hair. Yes. We are going to make it happen. And we it's going to be this semester. It's going to be great. It's going to be so We great. know so many people that we want to be on that episode. Yes. For instance, we're going to go ahead and do a quick shout out to Angel Turner's show, Angel in the Afternoon, Fridays from 1 to 2. What a beautiful name. I know. I didn't get to listen to her whole episode on mm -hmm. Friday, which was her first episode because mm -hmm. we were getting food after class. Mm -hmm. But we caught the tail end of it, and she was talking about how to apply a wig. Yes. And I'm ready. Right. Ready for a wig. And she, she did so well. It was her very first episode, and... Like, a week or two ago, she was not sure what she was going to do her show on. Mm -hmm. And so hearing, like, even just the tail end of her uh, episode, we were like, man, she's doing great. She really was. She sounded like she'd been in there for a whole, whole long while. She truly is an angel in the afternoon. Angel in the afternoon. That is so cute. And every single day. No, she's so sweet. She we see her literally every day. I know. Because we work with her. Yes. So, shout out to you, Angel. Thank you for being an angel. Aww. Mwah. Um, another plug. So yesterday I got my hair braided from a Lander student. Ooh. Her name's Kiva. She is in Reputation and I think, what is it, uh, Active? No, not Active Minds. It's another group here at Lander. I can't think of the name on, off, off of the top of my head, but mm -hmm. it's for like the empowerment of women. Spill the tea? No. No. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. The one group that Caitlin was talking about joining. Women. Women. If we f when we find out, we'll come back on yes, that later. Yes, we will. But moving on. Moving on. Um, we also want to touch on interracial relationships. Yes, that is one that I'm very excited to talk about and very excited to have like multiple people come on. Yes. Um, we could do a whole little series. Yes, that one applies very like home to us. Three part episode. We'll find out. We'll find out. So not only did we come from interracial relationships, yes. but they have grown up around, like we've grown up around them within not just like our parents, but for me, my grandparents. Yeah. And a lot of my aunts and uncles and cousins. Yeah. Friends, family. And it's beautiful that it's something that is like allowed now because not that long ago, that was not something. It was literally illegal. <laughs> right. Exactly. And so that's something we definitely want to talk about this semester, and I'm very excited. And we went to a wedding. We did. We did. We went to a wedding last semester that kind of helped us be pointed in the right direction for this episode. Yes. And I'm hoping we can talk to them. Yeah. So shout out to Kim and John Michael. Yes. Thank you, guys. I'm glad you're so they happy. They didn't even say yes yet, but you know, thank you. They kind of said yes. They didn't I, say no. You know what? I'm going to say thank you anyway because I was a plus one. So thank you for inviting me into your life and feeding me food. It was great. Nice to meet you. It was so good. So good. <laughs> but uh, one thing that I added recently was the quote-unquote conversation. And I feel like this one matters a lot. It's handling, like, race realities with kids. Because some kids have to get a whole talk about how to be safe in your own skin and I know for me, I never got that talk, um, but I know that there are so many people out there, especially black people, who have to deal with so much from just being born. And a lot of people now are asking, like, okay, how do I explain racism or brutality to my kids? How do I explain that? And so I think that's something that we should really touch on this, this semester, you know, so be on the lookout for that. Just to kind of touch on that, I remember, I don't know if this was the first conversation, but one that really sticks out to me is that I have had this conversation as a kid mm -hmm. um, right after Trayvon Martin mm -hmm. was killed. Mm -hmm. I think 
I ever so slightly had this conversation because I was riding in the car with my friends and one of my friend's mom. And she she was also biracial and she has darker skin. And so she has one other biracial kid in the car. I'm like sitting in the back and I'm pretty white passing except for sometimes when I have like really dark hair. I don't know. But um and then my best friend Halima sitting also in the in the side. So she's tensed up. And so, you know, everything goes down. We were we were fine. But, you know, I was sitting there kind of confused because, like, I'm a little kid and I haven't had to deal with that. And so she, like, goes through all the rules, like, okay, guys, you're going to drive – you're going to start driving one day and here are rules you need to know to make sure that you're safe because not every cop is going to let you off like this one. So that that was a whole thing. that, And I was like, oh, man, this is like a, like a whole thing. And I think that was another, like, awakening moment for me. Speaking of awakening moments, what else were we going to talk about this semester? Well, we learned something from an interview we had yesterday. Yes. The one we keep referencing. Yes. Um, about being an acceptable person of color. Mm-hmm. And what that means from my understanding is that you are the type of person or the type of POC that is like digestible. Yeah. That is a great word digestible yeah wow i have many words nice you're <laughs> on it with words Weird. and phrases today so by that i mean you don't necessarily fit the stereotypes that people try to project upon you when it comes to your race mm-hmm. so in that sense you are deemed as okay because you are quote unquote not like the other people in mm-hmm. your insert race mm-hmm. yeah it's like yes that is a phrase that gets thrown around a like a lot my eyes got really big you guys yeah. didn't get to see it but it's like oh i don't mean you i mean like other insert race like you yeah. said and it's like what what do you mean or like you're other. pretty for a insert yes. race. yes yeah that's yeah. just like like that's the same feeling as you get if someone said oh you're pretty for a fat person right like that like that hurts right it's like a uh no i'm pretty like I'm you, just pretty. Like, you could have stopped there. Exactly. Why did you have to say for a or but? It's like a backhanded compliment. It is. It is. And in this, a microaggression, which is something we talked about and you can go listen to on our YouTube page, 2POC XLR, or, you know, just listen to us later. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so that got brought up to us by a one, Jasmine McRae. She's so great. She is. She's so cool. We interviewed her yeah. yesterday. Yesterday. But yes. these are so long. I know. I know. <laughs> They're just running together. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we interviewed her yesterday for a very special project, which we keep plugging. And after this music break, we will finally be getting into it. So stay tuned. Stay tuned for Real Z's. On Tupac. You can hear more about Jasmine and why we interviewed her. Right after the break. Right after the break. So, coming up, we've got...
That was just the two of us by Grover Washington and Bill Withers on XLR Lander University Radio. And you were listening to the two of us on Tupac. <laughs> I'm so happy <laughs> you said it. I was hoping. I was like, okay, maybe she's just going to say it and you're listening to Tupac. And then I was going to try and do the just the two of us and then you did it and i I'm did so happy. we're so connected like remember earlier with the popcorn shrimp yes yeah that's a whole story that i'm not gonna go into no there's too much but she, she read my brain i do that quite mind. often so i was very i was very happy i was very happy so welcome back to class welcome hello back. hello hello shout out to amy again shout out to amy You're from so whole great. scotland from whole scotland mm-hmm. i love you amy Thank you. I've you, missed you. You know what? There is a song. <laughs> there is a transition that I wanted you to do, but I'm going to ask you on the next break. But that's not a transition out. I'm just telling you. But yes. I'm going to ask you on the next break. <laughs> I'm going to ask you on the next break. So stay tuned. <laughs> yes. Yes. Today's episode is sponsored by Amy from Whole Scotland. Whole Scotland is Scotland. Anyway, um, so all of this episode our season two launch we have been plugging a very special treat for you guys a nice little treat that i've been baking a little baking like a banana bread yes you ready (laughs) yes it is a passion project for xlr a celebration of black history yes i was um Making a project for my radio production class last semester, and it was a playlist project. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Reese. Shout out to Reese. <laughs> Mr. Funderburg. No, I'm kidding. No. Nobody calls him that. <laughs> and you can hear that on... No, that's not going to be part of No, I'm going to edit that part out, but it is really funny to note. Mm-hmm. Quote. But anyways, for his class, I was supposed to make a playlist of songs from... Like, one song from five different decades. Mm-hmm. And they were supposed to have, like, some meaning to me or have a connection to each other. And I just chose songs that were meaningful to me. But as I was selecting songs, I noticed that if you look through a lot of black history and relate it to the music, you can find the connection between each song and how there's a struggle, but there's also upliftment. Mm -hmm. So we've been talking about the same things in music for the last six decades and honestly even before that. Yeah. Like, starting back with the 1700s probably even further than that honestly honestly like as far back as slavery goes so i asked reese one night if we could turn that into a passion project Mm -hmm. and he said yes and from there we've been building this project since the beginning of last semester yeah so it's turned into a celebration of black history here on xlr and tupac is hosting it next month who else? Us Tupac. Us Pac. Us Pac. I think you you pitched it as like, you know, like a like a side project kind of thing. Like, hey, can we do this? Um, and Reese was like, yes, I'm going to make, like, he's the one who coined the term passion project. He did. And uh, he's been super supportive of it. And so we're super thankful. Shout out to Reese. Don't know if you're listening right now, but you get a attendance pass. <laughs> <It's> a- <laughs> so I was like, how do I make that school school related <laughs> schoolish he's our teacher yeah it's so. school related it's school but it's school it's <laughs> school i'm so sorry guys <laughs> never mind um but yeah so in this little session and possibly the next session we're gonna figure out how time works but um i was gonna ask lauren a lot about what she has planned for it because this is really lauren's project she got a whole directorship because starting of it. <laughs> starting from this project and we were like yeah Laura can do these things that's so dope and that's how I became creative content director mm-hmm. and then from there um production director yeah so I'll be helping Lauren a little bit with these but this is really like Lauren's project I just happen to be here and I just happen to have a whole team as well I am so so proud of you and a Reese and a Reese he's so great a whole Reese a whole Reese a whole Reese but yeah so we're gonna let you guys in on on little previews of those. Not yeah. not like preview previews, but you know, like uh, word trailers. Anyway, so first off, we had the movement. That's gonna be the first episode of this series. Yes. 
Yes, so that's going to be the one next week. Next week. <laughs> next week. Next oh week is gosh. when we start. Yes. This is a four-part series with four episodes. The movement, the music, the history, and the future. Yes, and we're going to be talking about those now. Yes. So, first off, the movement. Give me like a really broad term of what you are meaning by the movement, what you want for this episode. So the movement is in reference to the civil rights movement and the Black Lives Matter movement and how we compare those. Mm -hmm. And I got to sit down and talk with Jasmine McRae over Zoom. Mm -hmm. And of course, my fabulous co-host was there. Shout out to (laughs) Scotty Rocket. Thank you for coming to class. (laughs) But um, we talked with her yesterday and she was super excited to talk with us about her work. She is um, an activist. Yes. And she is currently working on the repeal the heritage act yes like that is her current project yes and she also did a lot um in support of blm during the protest over the summer of 2020 yes so it was so nice to get to talk to her about her work and what we can do for ourselves as beginner activists because i like to say i'm like a baby activist mm-hmm. because i'm I'm currently using my platform as a form of activism, even though I cannot actively go out and do these things. Mm-hmm. And she she was really great to talk to. She gave us a lot of insight and honestly helped. I feel like both of us feel better in terms of activism because a lot of times I know I personally wonder, like, am I doing enough? And she gave a lot of, like, yes, like, what, what you do is good and it's enough and like keep doing what you're doing and keep going forward and i'm really excited to play that episode because i feel like i can't quote specific she was just so great so great so very excited one thing that i learned is that like a big part of activism is educating and having an education and continuing to grow and that is a lot of what we do here on tupac Mm -hmm. and this did start out as a form of activism for us just from watching dear white people i was about to say black lives matter but we did watch (laughs) that too in the news and on socials and that had an influence on us too i know for me personally i wasn't able to go out and go to any protest and i felt like i wasn't doing enough and i wanted to use some sort of platform to get my message across which is a message that we all kind of share that we want to be equal to each other and we want to stop dying in the streets Mm -hmm. so i'm glad that we created tupac Mm -hmm. i really am i really am and i'm really glad we got to talk to her so excited for that episode the next episode is the music so just a disclaimer (laughs) i'm not sure if the music or the history is going to come first i think (laughs) it's going to be the history but let's talk about the music let's talk about the music so like i said before the music is talking about how a lot of our songs still have the same messages of we need to make this world better for us we are dying in the streets and we need help and just talking about the different movements that have happened throughout history and one thing that jasmine mentioned was that the movement doesn't stop Mm -hmm. i mean that i mean it's in the name it's a movement movement i don't think it'll ever stop so I wanted to dedicate that episode solely to talking about music, and I'm trying to get in touch with an expert on music when it comes to black culture and black history so we can talk about what these songs actually mean. And I have carefully handpicked these songs for this episode, and they're going to be in chronological order, starting from the 50s and going up to 2020. The amount of time I saw Lauren just, like, sweating crying over figuring out the playlist for every single episode of this project and specifically the music one was intense there are over 40 songs that i had to kind of organize there were more than that but 40 of those songs made the cut yes and i will definitely be linking the the spotify playlist of the whole the whole thing because this playlist has been growing since my first radio passion, not passion project, project <laughs> yes, playlist project. Yes. There's so many P words. Yeah. yeah. So that's been growing for months. I want to say since September. 
Mm-hmm. So if you guys would love, or if you would like to listen to it, I would love it if you did. <laughs> I will put it on our, I'll try to put it on our website or maybe yeah. in a blog. Yeah. The blog that we keep promising. <laughs> Honestly, we listened to our past episodes and we kept <laughs> mentioning this blog and here we are and it doesn't exist. We said when we left for a break, we were like, okay, our homework. Finally, the teachers have homework. We are going to write those blogs. We're going to aim for one a week. And we didn't write a single one. No, but it's okay. Yeah. I think, well, you didn't travel, did you? No. I did. Yeah. So Lauren had an excuse. I was just lazy. (laughs) I went to Houston and I went to Maryland in a span of two months. Yeah, you did. That was a lot. You did. So empty promises soon to be fulfilled but don't worry we promise for realsies that we'll be right back here on xlr land university radio where we'll be talking about the next two uh episodes of this passion project ninja
That was You Give Good Love by Whitney Houston here on XLR Lander University Radio. Sorry for the dead air. <laughs> You're listening to Tupac with your girls, Lauren Chanel and Scotty Rocket. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so if you're listening on YouTube, you don't know what's up. But <laughs> for all of our live listeners, as she just said, that was Whitney Houston. Lauren <laughs> was delayed. I gave her the cue to start, and she was on the internet looking for things. Yeah. Speaking of things that you may or may not have been looking for, Lauren, give us a Whitney fun fact. We're back the first Whitney fun fact <laughs> of the season. Um... She appeared in Seventeen magazine and became one of the first women of color to be on the cover. Look at that. Usually Lauren has these straight off the dome, but we've been a little out of rehearsal for a while. It's been a long day for the dome. (laughs) It's been a long day for the dome. Y'all, pray for our domes. Please. (laughs) Honestly, that's why we were so delayed. I was, um, (laughs) I was straight up, like, during the break, I was like, okay, I don't know if I have a Whitney fun fact. But uh, my my co-host was like, you know, you have one, and you then, got one somewhere. And she was like, you're you're going back in, and I was like, okay. And then I just like didn't hear the music stop when I was looking for the fact. But <laughs> that's why. And then I looked up, and I was like, oh, she's signaling to me. <laughs> I was like, I went, no, they can't see. But I faced the the Mac that we read off of, and I did like a over the over my head, like my left hand which faces away from the Mac, swooped up in, like, a ballet form. I was very graceful, I'm sure. Sure. (laughs) And, like, pointed at Lauren and then kept pointing at Lauren. (laughs) And I was, like, pointing (laughs) harder. Like, I kept repointing. Like magic? Yeah. And I was like, why isn't my magic working? And then I looked, and she was on her phone. (laughs) And that, kids, is what happens when you are on your phone in class. You do not get magical point symbols. (laughs) Welcome back to Tupac. We, in the last break, we're talking about the upcoming Passion Project starting next week. Yes, next week. We talked about the uh, two of the episodes, the movement and the music. So now we're going to get into the history and the future. Yes, future. I'm so excited. So the history is actually um, the interview that I'm going to do next week with Karma. Shout out to Karma. What's her show? She has a number of shows now. I think yes. she has two. I wasn't sure if she was still doing Fashion Police. I, that's a great question. I'm pretty sure she uh, signed on this little form that I made because that's kind of my job. I don't know if it's my job or not or if I just did it. But anyway, I'm pretty sure she is still doing Fashion Police. Okay. Um, with Johanna Clark? Yes. Johanna. Johanna? There. No, it's Johanna. It is? Yes. Okay. Because I r- remember reading it as Joanna but it's, oh, it's Johanna. Oh, because of the age. Yeah. Yeah. Johanna. Um, and I think she also has a show Mondays now? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a cooking show. Yes. Yeah. And she has actually invited us to guest star on that. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I Aww. didn't get to tell you that. People ask Tupac things separately, and then we tell each other later. Yeah, like so. on air. <laughs> yes, like surprise, on air. Surprise, <laughs> Surprise, Shawty. <laughs> oh, they turned off the lights. Oh, well. <laughs> It'll be okay. It is not 11 yet. Thank you very much. So, next week, I am interviewing Dr. Kenneth Campbell from USC. And he specializes in black history and culture. And I am hoping to continue our conversation on the movement and kind of segue into that. Mm -hmm. And then later segue into the music and how that relates to the history. And after that, we're going to talk with, I haven't asked them yet, but we're (laughs) going to talk to BSU and which is the Black Student Union here at Lander, mm-hmm. and probably spill the tea. Mm-hmm. Oh, and just like a little fun fact, I accidentally joined BSU. I had been talking about it for like a whole semester, and then I got an email like last week that was like, <laughs> oh, your dues are supposed to be paid by this time, and you're going to get a t-shirt, and our first meeting is, oh my gosh, is it Thursday? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, it's okay. No, I'm good. I'm free on Thursday. Yeah. I'm not free on Wednesday. Yeah. I'm never free. But, (laughs) (laughs) but, um, yes, I'm hoping to sit down and talk with them. So the history episode, we're going to learn some black history facts. And for those of you who don't know, 
I have been doing this for the past two or three years where every single day of February I post a different black history fact. Mm-hmm. So that's why I have so much knowledge in this in this dome. In this dome. Because every single day for like every single day of February for the last two or three years I have taken the time to look up a different fact that I didn't know or that I didn't have enough knowledge on so I could educate more people on my Facebook because that, that's kind of where I started my platform. Yeah. Yeah. That would be really nice to post to the Tupac. Need it for the blog. I honestly have enough for their blog. So Great. we could totally do that. That would be amazing. I could start making it because I have um, sources for everything too. Nice. And I keep everything in my notes on my phone. That would be a really... You could do a whole lot of blogs, or you could have one of those, insert how many number, two to three years worth of fact is. A lot, because we had a leap year last year. Yeah, so I am going to say, and this is completely I'm going to say like 60. Yeah. 60 fun facts about black history. Yeah. Yeah, and that would be a great, I would would click on that. Yeah. Nice. I go over everything from um, icons that you didn't know about, to black inventions, to black hair care products. To just different people that inspire me. Yeah. Like, I did a whole post about Renee Lee Goldsberry. I'm very excited for that. And now I've met her. I love her. She's Lauren great. tries to plug that fact as, as often as she can. I plug that more than yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think this is the first episode I've ever talked about yeah, yeah. That's so weird. I love her. I love her, too. I know you I taught her me. how to sit. You did. And she's doing very well. Really? Are yeah. You, have you been doing the hand signal? Yes. Nice. Yes. She's working on it. When I give her treats now, she sits. Yes. And if she doesn't, she has to wait. And you can slowly ease into making her wait. Munch. Aw. That's what I do with Coda. He doesn't doesn't eat it until I tell him he can't. Shout out to Coda. Shout out to Coda. Always making me look like I'm an incredible dog trainer. Because you are. Nicole taught him uh, wait munch. That was really cool. But the rest of his tricks, me. (laughs) I did that. (laughs) <laughs> I took him to dog school. He graduated. Oh my, oh my goodness. He old. Speaking of school. Speaking of school. We are in class. We are young. We are the youth. So the last, speaking of the youth, the That's last episode trying. is the future where we do talk to the youth. Yes. Which would be students here at Lander. Yeah. I know it seems like a lot of these experts are from USC, and that's because they are. They are. It's Whose fault could that be? Reese Thunderbird. <laughs> I really, really appreciate him, though, because he he studied this a lot, yeah. actually. Like, he did. And it's really cool because he's he's not a POC. Yeah. But he found this interest and this appreciation for black history and culture and wanted to really talk more about that. And he is so super supportive. So I think that's why he was so excited to turn this into a big project and not just like a little one episode thing on Tupac. Right. He has invested so much. Like, one, our budget, Lee. Yes, our budget. Uh, two, just networking. And three, just emotionally. He's so very invested in this. Yes. And that is so, uh, like... He's so down. Like, so he, within the first week, he connected me with Jasmine. That was yes. months ago. Yeah. So I've been emailing her since... I want to say September, October, Mm -hmm. and he wants to hear the interview before I've even finished it yet, you know, (laughs) and they're friends, and then he connected me with Dr. Campbell, Dr. Campbell's connected me with more people from there, and there's one person that I want to talk to about the music, and I haven't been able to get in touch with her after a few emails, so Mm -hmm. I emailed Reese today, like sometime this morning, and I always say hi to him when he walks by the hallway, so I guess he knew I would be there. So he was, so I was like, hey, do you have a minute to talk? I need help emailing this person. And he was like, yeah, I'll be there in like five minutes. Meet me there. So I met him in his office and he sent the email and he was like, okay, if she doesn't respond back, I'll call her. And I was like, you're the best. Having that kind of support from someone who is not a person of color. Yeah. It's just so comforting. And like he has been going above and beyond to really show how much he supports this not just project but the entire movement it's so like like warming it's so warm and he genuinely cares there are some people where you can't really tell where they're at yeah and reese doesn't have to say much to make us feel the most yeah it's a very like 
I feel very safe in that yes, environment. Yes, he's created such a safe space yes. in XLR for all different groups when it comes to diversity. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how many people would allow us to put Jackson's pride flag in the station. Mm -hmm. And he did. He did. So, Reese, again, don't know if you're listening to this episode. Maybe you'll listen to this later. Uh, And if you are or later do, I know you're shedding a tear. He's probably going to cry. Yes. Yes, he is. He's a a cry. Because he's also very emotionally vulnerable with us. And that is so amazing. He feelings checks us. He feelings checks us all the time. All the the time. He asked, like, hey, how are you doing? And I was like, oh, I'm solid, man. He, He... he hits you with the, are you sure? How are you really? How, yeah. And that morning I was doing amazing. And then, you know, a whole lot of work got dropped on me later. And he was like, don't overbook yourself. And I was like, I won't. And then I did. But, but <laughs> we were so overbooked, man. So overbooked. But for this, it's all for a good reason. He hit me with that again today. Not with the, how are you really feeling? He hit me with the, um, you sure don't have any more questions? I was like, I'm good. He was like, are you sure? Yeah. I was like, yeah, I'm good. He legit took like two steps. And I was like, wait, what about this? <laughs> He's, He's so like, great. He took two really slow steps just in case. I know because he was still looking. <laughs> I didn't even realize I'd asked a question until I had already finished asking it. And I didn't address it. I thought about it. I was like, oh, wait, I just said I had no more questions. <laughs> I, <adore that. laughs> I know. He's so great. He's so relatable. And we had a really tough year yeah last year with having a change of what i want to say change transfer of power like it's a presidency <laughs> but going from paul crutcher to reese yeah was such a smooth transition for a lot of us right and if you don't know paul like i don't know what to tell you but he's great yeah that there, there were a lot they were really big shoes to fill mm-hmm And uh, I remember before Reese stepped in, we were all really nervous. Yes. Because first we didn't know who was going to step in. And then we heard it was Reese and we were like, okay, Reese is really cool, but we're still nervous. Right. And he's so young. Yep. Right. He's not much older than us. Yeah. Honestly. (laughs) (laughs) Shout out to our boy, you to youth. Anyway. (laughs) Um, But he came in at not only just like a hard transition as far as you know just the station but yeah 2020 2020 he came in at the worst time to transition it, the spring spring paul left paul was supposed to have his last semester in the spring but he left earlier because of corona because we didn't come back we yeah. didn't come back until the fall yeah so paul no, yeah so paul left our spring semester and yeah. so reese's first semester as our uh manager uh, manager yes yeah um was last semester yeah and i'm really proud of us and him me too this is a xlr land university radio is america's finest it really is i'm so proud of us another thing i really love about reese is that you know me i tend to get anxious about everything yes. i am a worrier yes every day is a choose your own adventure <laughs> when it, like every single day that's a shout out to Corey carpenter chorus <laughs> he's chorus when he's stressing me out <laughs> <laughs> but he's great but if i say something and it sounds like i'm battling anxiety at the moment he just he just like has this calm tone he there's like a change in his posture yeah. when when he does that because usually Reese has amazing posture where he sits up real straight, but he if he sees like someone like kind of stressing out, he'll like slouch yeah, just down like, a little, yeah, and, you know, kind of get into that like therapist get position. get on your level, yeah, like yeah. Hey, how are you really? Yeah, he doesn't like, even wow. have to ask. I think he's kind of learned just from knowing me that I do need I I need all the answers you can give me. Yeah, I, I do. Yeah. Which is uh And here's more. Not good. Oh, also, here's blah blah blah. Yeah. So covers all the bases of questions that you could possibly have mm-hmm. and then is there anything else? And he's always like, Don't worry, I've got this. I've got yeah. you. Like, I'm not gonna let you fail. Yeah. That's his big thing. He's not gonna let us fail. Yeah. Cause he first of all, he doesn't want us to fail. Second of all, we're not going to fail. Third of all, we're especially not going to fail because we have so much support from him. Yeah. He's just so great. This complete last 
couple minutes has just turned into a Reese fan fest. It really has. We're so happy. I mean, he stepped up during coronavirus yeah. when we lost um, Jackson. Mm-hmm. And he stepped up for this passion project. Mm-hmm. He was really, really there for us after losing Jackson. That was insane. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't... I, that was so hard. I, I can't imagine what it would be like to be in his position and to go through this for it to be one of what was it his second or third semester teaching here Mm -hmm. and he lost his student yeah and then he had all these other students that didn't really know what to do and then he made us all feel safe and welcome and just cared for Mm -hmm. and there's not a lot of people that can do that just automatically yeah so again thank you Reese. reese shout out to reese shout out to reese Never, ever change. Please don't, and don't leave us. Not until we graduate. Not until we graduate. You you stuck here. You stuck here. Sorry, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro. We, we immediately <laughs> went from, oh, so soft, to bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so be sure to tune in to us next week. Yes. Because that will be the launch of The Passion Project. A celebration of black history. There was a little colon in between those two because that is like ever so slightly the title i think i haven't honestly i'm gonna be real with you guys there is no title i have not made a title i've just been changing the title every single time but somehow it makes sense (laughs) yes i got so close to the mic (laughs) (laughs) so we love you guys thank you for tuning back in to our season two launch of Tupac. Tupac. Oh, quote. Quote. Our final quote of the week is... Da, da, da. This is actually from Jasmine McRae. Uh, and Lauren, will you, will you prompt with, that, with the question first so that I can properly say this quote? What or do I you want to say the quote? What I asked yeah. her? Okay. So... I asked her yesterday what advice she had for future activists. And she said a lot, but the last bit of it was, slow down and take care of yourself. Because the only way you're able to take care of others is if you take care of yourself first. 